trying to explain the situation. Here is the sender and the ground that I use below it. This yellow wire goes up over here, third one, and it's normally connected to this one. This is on the couch on the other side. And now this, I've put this one in, small one, it goes through here and then it comes out over here and it's one of these two wires. It's this one, the one with the grey part on it that runs back over here and it goes to the ignition key over here. This is the grey one, so it's connected over there. So, that's the situation. Oh, yes, and then on this, this is the output. And that output goes in here and it goes to the siren, which is on the outside. Um, and this one is the one that connects uh, the oil sensor directly, but I've taken it off over here at the moment so that it doesn't make a sound all the time. Uh, and it is output from one of these wires. And then we have the grey one, which is the, the other output, which is the supply. So. Sensor connected, grounded. Now connecting it in this one. This one is the ignition one, connected to the ignition. 165.165. This one is the one connected directly to the sensor. So the disconnected goes wire and then it shows 1.8. I have the ignition turned on and then there's no reading at all. Just a test, I take off the sender, turn it again, there it goes. Now I've reconnected the yellow wire together from the gauge meter together with the wire uh, that goes to the alarm unit. Now let's see what happens when we start to measure again. Hundred thirty five over here. And now same scenario but no ignition not turned on but I have reconnected the oil sender again. Now if I read the reading is about 0 